In this segment, we'll cover how to load a roll of media onto the CE7000. If you are starting with a new CE7140, make sure that the push roller pressures are set correctly. This entails setting the outside push rollers to the highest pressure. This is done by putting the push roller switches to the lowest position. To prevent skewing issues, the outside push rollers should always be set with higher pressure than the middle push rollers. Next, set the middle push rollers to medium pressure by putting the middle push roller switches to the halfway or middle position. When cutting delicate material, such as tint, the middle push roller should be set to the lowest pressure by placing the switches in the up position. Once that is done, place the media roll onto the stock roller bars. Pull out some of the media from the roll and feed it into the media slot. Next, pull the media latch to the down position. This will place the push rollers in the up position, allowing the media to be fed into the media slot. Once the media is fed into the media slot, position the roll so that it is aligned properly to the cutter, keeping in mind that it may have to be repositioned to the grid rollers. Next. Set the media brake on the side of the stock roller bracket that is nearest to the control panel. This is done by bringing the brake slightly out and then moving it backwards so that the nub on the brake fits into one of the notches on the end of the front media bar. Once again, this locks the stock roller so that the media will stay in place when loading. From the front side, pull the media. Since we have engaged the media brake, this will make the media taut forcing it to be straight. This is important since we don't want it to skew as it is fed forward. As the media is being pulled, go ahead and set the push rollers into position. The push rollers have to be positioned over a grit roller in order for the drive system to work correctly. This may be difficult in that the media covers the grit rollers. GraphTech has simplified the process by marking each grit roller's position with a blue tab. You'll notice that the right push roller nearest the control panel has a longer blue tab because of the longer grit roller. That push roller can be placed anywhere within the blue tab. The other push rollers have shorter grit rollers to position over. But once again, there are blue tabs to help position the push rollers on top. With the push rollers positioned correctly and the media taut, bring the media latch into the up position which brings the push rollers down, locking in the media. When the media latch is set, this menu appears on the control panel LCD. Here it displays three choices. Roll one front edge, roll two current position, and sheet. Since we've loaded a roll of media, we will concern ourselves with roll one and roll two. To demonstrate the roll choices, let's select roll one front edge first by pressing the one key. The tool head will start by scanning for the locations of all the push rollers first. This is to make sure that each push roller is positioned correctly over a grit roller. Once it finds the push rollers, it will then retract the media until it senses the front edge. This is useful when first loading a roll of media that has not been cut. When roll 2 current position is pressed, the tool head will scan for the wheels as before, but this time it will leave it in its current position. In other words, it won't retract the media as it did when using Roll 1. Using the Roll 2 current position option is the best when you have media that has been cut or you want the CE7000 to initialize quickly. At this point, make sure the brake is disengaged. 